Kotoko Royals hosting the Phobians in their first ever Premier League meeting with their Accra Bay side. They got us going and came in with this free kick that nearly beat Rich Monayi from Shaibu. It was well struck from the left back. Yeah, well struck and well saved. He had to go down sharp to apply the fingertips to it. Playing in that midfield road this afternoon. That was well taken, well taken. Nearly beating the hearts of our goalkeeper. Samuel Enkum got this ball through to Asante Yeboah. Daniel Lefrie Barnier was trying to score it for Glass and Awaku. They appealed for a handball here, but referee had none of that. Yeah, I think even if he came off the hand, it's right across his body. No way is he stopping the ball from passing his body with, with the hand. So, no one that I think a shout for a pen. It warrants warrant a shout for a pen. This boy, great vision. It almost looked as if the ball was going away, but Glass Afriye Banye chased it down and won the penalty. Yeah, Banye didn't give up on that ball. I think the goalkeeper Clinton Quay also then trying to close down the angle, just trying to pull out of the challenge, I feel. I'm not sure he makes contact with Bani. I think Bani was actually on his way down already, but the pen was given. Once he stepped forward, no mistakes. Converted it expertly to hand the Phobians the lead. These days, he rarely misses from the spot. Yeah, he's done it for both club and country. Daniel Fria Bani just smashing that hope. I don't think it's a goalkeeper guesses. But the good part gets right, I should say, but I'm not sure he gets to it because of the power behind it. Sally Fulbright with this good ball to Corsa. Corsa was trying to get to Daniel Free Barney, but his header just couldn't hit the back of the net. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I just think maybe Banya could have guarded that better with minimum contact, but I just think maybe the ball was a little bit you know, too high for his liking. They didn't really jump to want to. Maybe he had to get over the ball and head it down. He didn't do all of that. Salib Ibrahim with this ball that fell to Asante Boa and the final kick of the half. Just flying over for a goal kick and the final whistle to wrap up the first half. Kotokuro else now. Had to go on. Back from recess. Kotokure has stepped up their game and took the game to the Phobians. Mohamed Zakari made a good run to locate Jiko, but he was in a hurry with this ball and I cleverly allowed the ball to go past him to distract the advancing striker against him, Boache. But the vision from Mohamed Zakari, great vision by Jiko, was just in a hurry to get this ball in. They pushed, they did everything they could to get the equalizer to the Royals. Indeed, they piled a lot of pressure on the Phobians and one of these efforts resulted in a block from Krindu Yadom after Boachi had done all the work. Good ball from Clinton Quay, lovely control from Boachi, but the final delivery not powerful enough to beat Richmond Ai. They huffed and puffed, they took the game to the Phobians, but try as they did, the Phobians stayed resolute to keep their lead and win the three points at stake. Full time, Kotokuro has nil. Hatsabog won. Watching the video, my name is Joseph Adamafio, and here on Sports Update Ghana, we post sports updates on a regular basis. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, I'll urge you to subscribe to the channel as we bring you the best of football updates and sports updates here in Ghana. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.